personal security precautions to avoid becoming a victim of an attack. Avoid crowded public areas and gatherings. Do not travel into areas affected by the attack or in a non-area of the So I don't know if you can tell in the previous clip, but I'm wearing two watches today. I thought I'd do a little test to see, because my, my Apple Watch has just been sat there for just ages, just on my desk doing nothing. So I thought I'll wear both today and just put them through a little test. I put them on the exact same time. They both charged fully overnight. And yeah, throughout the day, we're gonna see how, how well they perform, how far down the, the battery goes if it tracks my steps properly, if it tracks my run properly, if it tracks my gym session properly. So one of my resolutions for this year, and I know people all say, oh, resolutions are a load of shit, but I quite like resolutions. And my one main one this year is, if I start something, I gotta finish it because I'm notorious for being quite choppy changey, just not sticking things out. A very small example of that would be not doing the marathon training to the best of my ability. So there's loads of like components that I wanna sort of get sorted, like stretching, hydration, eating. Like I'm not getting enough protein in, I've, I've gotta be honest, I'm not just not getting enough protein in. When it's raining, I'm, I'm just sacking off like the easy runs. And I feel like the easy runs are probably the most important ones because it's just, it's just building that base. So today I am gonna, I've picked up the camera, I'm gonna hold myself accountable and we're gonna go through a full day of my ideal day of marathon training. So everything today is what I want to do every day until April the 7th, when I take part in my first marathon, the Milan Marathon. I sit at a desk all day, pretty much every day, and my hips just tighten up. It's just, especially the hip flexor, because my knees are pointing forwards all day and this just shortens and shortens and just gets really, really tight. And then when you're out on a run then, your legs can't go as far back. You're compensating them by tilting your pelvis backwards and you get I get lower back pain. So it all stems from my hip mobility and my shit hip flexors. So I want to be doing this every single day, just in the mornings while I'm having my coffee, stretching out my hip flexors, just lining, lining it up all nice. Yeah, just getting sorted for the day. Also, you get such a nice stretch down the quad, which then in turn helps the, helps the knees helps the patella. Why, why am I explaining it like some sort of fucking instructor? I gotta say though, on my seven mile run yesterday, my left ankle just started to go numb. And I'm not sure why that is. It might be hydration. It could be the fact that my left side is weaker than my right. But one thing I do wanna get, and I do wanna go out and buy, is just a golf ball. Use it to roll my, my feet out because the arch is one of the things that aches after a run. So again, back to yesterday, I came home, sat down for 10 minutes while I cooled off. And when I got back up, my God, everything just ached. My hips ached, my knees ached, my ankles ached. Everything was aching. And yeah, I'm getting older, I'm 29 in five weeks, but still that's not, that's not overly old. And yeah, I think it's all down to just my mobility and I'm just not doing it enough and it's so, oh, it's so important, but because it, it's so boring, you, you don't see the results straight away. Like no one like no one ever does it. Well, I don't do it anyway. I can only speak for myself. And that's the only reason I don't do it. And us, us humans, we just want things now, 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 straight away. And I think that's why people don't see things out. And I think that's why maybe I'm, I'm a little bit choppy changey with things because I want results straight away. I'm quite surprised I've kept, kept this YouTube thing up to be honest, but I do enjoy it. Again, I am quite lazy with with making food because Rima really enjoys food that actually tastes nice. I'm not very good at doing that. I prefer just to make food, food for fuel. Like that's that's pretty much all I've done. Now I'm, I've got to try and make food to actually taste nice and actually make a meal out of it. I think I need to resort back to eating food for, for fuel, but then when I eat, when I have dinner with Rima, then I make food that actually tastes nice. So throughout the day, I've got to have food that is just fuel. I was binging a lot of like reels and, and TikToks and stuff about holistic eating and how there's so much stuff in like processed foods and whatever. So I've been trying to buy a lot more foods that are very whole, very whole foods. Foods that have like less than five ingredients in basically. Things that don't have like all these fillers and cake and agents and stuff. Actually need more oats. 
Oh, why am I getting all these food, this food out? Right, so see here, there's a lot of food here now. It's very whole foody, a lot of fruit, a lot of veg, a lot of things that have very few ingredients in. There's also some sweet potatoes at the back. And yeah, just buying these basic foods like rice, chicken, and broccoli, that's one meal. Well, just one head of broccoli. Bananas, oats, honey, some dark chocolate, that's another meal. I don't know how people can eat porridge and then go for a run. Porridge for me, like it takes ages to settle down. It always hangs up here when I'm running, so I don't have porridge before I run. You can also have chicken with a sweet potato. I actually enjoy sweet potatoes more than rice at the moment, because I literally cut it in half, boil it in the air fryer for 10 minutes and it's done. You can have like an avocado with a bagel. But yeah, I think if I keep to this throughout the day, I can't I can't do much wrong, surely. Right, little watch update. So I've got 92% on there, 99% on there, just there. And they've been on for about an hour. So yeah, one's gone down by 8%, one's gone down by 1%. You would have guessed that anyway, because this has got like 13 days battery life. This has got like 18 hours, but I just want to kind of see how drastic, how drastically bad it is just day-to-day -day use. With the steps, so Apple Watch saying 487. On my Garmin, it says 470. Now, with this metric, I'm, I'm honestly not too sure there it is there, 470. Now with this metric, I'm not too sure how I'm meant to measure that because I can't just count every single step I do every day and then see which one's right. It's pretty cool to see the difference, the fact that I've only been walking around the house and it's out by 17 steps already. I've got these off Etsy. Little stickers. What I want to do with these is anywhere I go, like in the world, I want to put a few of these around, maybe like on a lamppost or or something like that. Give it a scan now and see if it works. Pause the video and just see if it works. Should take you to my channel. Pretty cool just to have these dotted around. I've got 20 of them. Right, 30 minute easy run. Got both watches on. Start them straight away and see how we get on. Right, my GoPro actually died, but Apple Watch is showing 10.55 rolling mile. The Garmin is showing 11.05. The rolling mile tracker is a little bit off. I'm interested to see how the steps are gonna fare because before the run, it was about 300 out. Thoughts? <laughs> I'm just here for the ride, man. <laughs> right, run done. Got my water, banana, and I'm using a protein shake again, just because, like I said earlier, I'm just not getting my protein in. The workout time, Apple Watch 45.42, Garmin 45.32. However, I did switch the Apple Watch on first and I turned the Garmin off first when I stopped. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore that metric. Total calories, Garmin 596 on the Apple Watch 625, average pace, on the Garmin 10.49 and the Apple Watch 10.50. Um, the heart rate, so the Apple Watch was a 143 BPM average heart rate and the Garmin was a 144 average heart rate. What I would say though is the positives with the Apple Watch is it is way comfier because it's a lot smaller. Like and there's, there's quite a substantial gap. You can see that it kind of digs into your wrist. This is a lot comfier. Also, when I was recording, because the Garmin was linked up to my phone, even when I was filming, it would it would still shout out that I've I've done like four miles or, you know, done my fourth lap or whatever. Lap three, 10.55. And I feel like that's something that Garmin need to sort out. Like, like I'm recording, I'm using the, the microphone. Why are you playing sound? via the app through the phone to then ruin my, my video. So I will say as well that using it throughout the day, the Apple Watch has been a lot lot more um, convenient in terms of like replying to people and just seeing what people have said and, and, and stuff. Right, egg wrap, that was the Last bit of activity for the day, a nice little gym session. 
I didn't film anything in there just because I don't really like filming in the gym and it was very busy in there and I got told off before for just taking a little video of the gym. The comparison between the two watches for the gym workout, the Garmin gave me a total calorie burn of 388 whereas the Apple Watch gave me a calorie burn of 511 calories, so that's a big difference. However, I think it's because I've been, I've been wearing the Garmin quite a lot. I, I feel like it takes a lot of measurements throughout the day, bases it on how fit you are, so therefore how many calories you're actually burning at, that, at those heart rates, whereas the Apple Watch doesn't really take as many metrics into account. I've got to be honest, like I feel very tired and satisfied, to be honest. Like, when I haven't like gone for a run or gone to the gym or anything, I like at this sort of time, like what's the time now, 20, 25 past six, I feel very like energetic, but also a bit a bit of noise that I've got to like try and to try and cram in like a, a run and a gym session in like in the day, um, in the evening, sorry. The way I see it, it's, it's a privilege to feel like this, like, and I want to feel like this all the time. It's a good day on all, on all accounts for me. So anyway, I'm gonna leave it there and I'll catch you in the next one.